I with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange this Friday to answer social media questions. Jim, let's start with some of the oil majors. Exxon, Chevron, your thoughts on well, both? Th these are stories that show you the power of having refining and marketing operations versus the companies that's put them into two. Uh, there have been a lot of, uh, uh, of since August 25th, uh, a belief that oil is not going to take out these low levels. Uh, so far, they haven't. And one of the reasons why these stocks are going up is, is that they're ratcheting down their capital expenditures so that at $45 oil, they're going to do okay, particularly with refining and marketing. Uh, that's why I think the stocks are a little too high, but I understand that these guys have figured out, <laughs> these they've been around for a long time, what to do when oil goes down in price. All right, a few more questions for you. What are your thoughts on Panera? Uh, we want to buy Panera. Now, the quarter of Panera was not a good quarter, and that's because it's a spend quarter, and also because labor costs are going up. Uh, just this with Howard Schultz on, on Starbucks on Squawk on the Street. Uh, the labor costs uh, are all being driven by minimum wage hikes, and they were not necessarily factored in. Uh, and the spend on technology and the spend on Panera 2.0 is very big. This is kind of a, uh, this quarter is a, is a spend quarter, so people are going to just say, listen, I don't want to be in it, uh, and I think that that's a mistake. The company's buying back a huge amount of stock here, the cash flow is very good. Jim, you've talked a lot about GoPro and some of your concerns, but a viewer writes and it says, is it a buy today given what happened yesterday with a big decline? Well, I don't like to buy stocks where the management themselves say that, listen, we haven't done a good job. That means you have to wait another quarter. Uh, and, and I think that GoPro, which I've been very, very negative on, justified the negativity. Anything wrong with White Wave? You know, look, White Wave acts really horrible. And there's a lot of people who therefore say it's got to have a shortfall. Hain doesn't act well. Whole Foods, which I think has been holding a 30 level, is, uh, you know, shows you that the group is negative. The piece about Fairway in the New York Times is very, very negative. Um, I think White is probably going to go lower. Um, and we want to buy more. Uh, big position. And the reason is, is because it, the intersection of plant-based foods is really important. You know, when you see stories like uh, processed foods uh, causing cancer, uh, the, the pendulum's never going to switch back to the bad stuff. And if you look at what Hormel's done to be able to become more natural and organic and what that's done for the stock, when you look at General Mills becoming natural and organic, in one fell swoop you want to become natural and organic, you buy White Wave. In the interim, there was some data and a Goldman Sachs sell put out that the retail numbers weren't that strong. So I accept that. But that's why the stock went from 52 to 40. Early Earlier we had a GoPro question, which was like, listen, it's come down so much, is it interesting? Sometimes a stock like White Wave, it gets to 35, 36, it would be such a gift. Could it do that? You know what, if you're going to take that short-term review, then you sold Allergan at 260 when we told you to buy it. All right, finally, with the holidays coming, what do you think about Build-A-Bear? Build-A-Bear, no, that's too granular. Uh, the holiday play that I really like is Target. I really love the fact that they went with the free shipping. I love the look of the stores right now. Walmart is being squeezed by Costco, Target, and Amazon. I want you, if you want to buy Target, very big position for Action Alerts, I want you to go to the stores. Go to not one, but go to a couple. You will not believe what they look like. And look at the private label, how strong it is. Target is the holiday play. Jim Kramer, thanks so much. Remember, this is where Jim answers your questions from social media. He's on Facebook, of course, and you can find him on Twitter at Jim Kramer. Use hashtag KramerQ. I'm Rhonda Schopfler for The Street. To get more of Jim Kramer's investing ideas, as well as a peek at other stocks he owns in his multi-million dollar charitable trust portfolio, subscribe to Action Alerts Plus. Sign up for Action Alerts Plus at GetKramerEdge.com. That's GetKramerEdge.com.